When did I become a mountaineer? Well, I come from a long lineage and heritage of mountaineers in the family. Uh, both my grandparents are alumni. Uh, both of my parents also alumni. So I guess you could say, from a technical standpoint at birth, I became a mountaineer. I became a mountaineer when I was a child. My father loved sports, so we watched uh, mountaineer football games, basketball games, anything that had that was related to athletics that dealt with WVU, we watched it. So I probably have been a mountaineer since I was a toddler. And I, I, I love West Virginia. Well, I love West Virginia University. I came here not sure whether I wanted academia or industry, but it became clear over my first year here that I was developing a love for West Virginia University and uh, for the state and for the institution, obviously. I became a mountaineer on the first day that I left my high heels at home. That day, instead of high heels, I took out a pair of flat heel boots and came in to work. I think that I make the decision to be a mountaineer every day. I don't really think it's something that you have one moment where you become a mountaineer, but you have to decide how you're going to contribute to the West Virginia and to the WVU community on a daily basis. Well, both my parents went here, so I grew up on the campus, so I've always been a mountaineer. But I think when I got accepted into my program and actually got to know my professors and get really, really close with my cohort, that's when I really became a mountaineer because I felt like I was really a part of something. Not that I didn't feel like that before, but you get so close with everybody. So I think that's one, definitely. When I became a mountaineer, it was probably my sophomore year in high school. My football team and I came up for a football camp and we just went through, we were here for a week and we got a tour of campus and we did everything else and I just basically fell in love with the campus. So ever since then, I was forced to apply to other schools by my parents, but this is where I always wanted to come. The day I knew I was a mountaineer was the first time I pulled on the West Virginia University cycling team uniform and stepped up to the starting line. And uh, the first time, the first time that I knew I was representing WVU, in a race, you know, for keeps. That was that was when I knew I was a Mountaineer. I actually went to the Final Four game up in Syracuse, and just uh, I was sitting on sitting up pretty close to the uh, to the bench, and just taking pride in your team, knowing that uh, something you know, it's just uh, something that you believe in. Not only like just, just the basketball team, but actually the school believing in having a chance to do something great. I remember as a child listening to Jack Fleming broadcast the West Virginia sporting uh, games, and I knew that I wanted to go to West Virginia University. I applied to other colleges, I applied to other law schools, but I knew I wanted to be a West Virginia University graduate. And I never, ever regretted that decision because of the relationships that I have, the friendships that I've made. I met my wife here, one of my sons is a graduate from here. It was the best decision I've ever made in my life. When did I become a mountaineer? I think that I have been a mountaineer since the day I was born. So, I guess that's all I have to say. All right, I'll give you one more thing. Just as the sky is blue and the sun is gold, every day is a great day to be a mountaineer.